Let me share with you the story of a hero, one who doesn't have superpowers or rush into burning buildings. This hero, just like you and me, possesses the same resources, yet his impact is as significant as the heroes you see on the big screen. His name is Patrick Kilonzo Mwalua, but many know him as the Waterman. Patrick's actions have created a ripple effect that will touch countless generations. His only power? Kindness. It's a power you're likely familiar with. Each morning, as the world wakes up and begins its daily routines, Patrick prepares for his journey to Tsavo West National Park in Kenya. But this isn't his workplace, nor is he there as a tourist. He's on a mission, a mission that saves lives by the thousands. Patrick's story began in June 2016. He was a pea farmer in the Kenyan village of Voi, located near Savo West National Park. Living so close to the park sparked his deep passion for wildlife conservation. One day in June, Patrick decided to visit the park. What he found there was alarming. The waterhole, a vital source of water for the animals, had dried up. The animals were gathered around it, desperate and thirsty, due to a relentless drought. The rains had failed to replenish the waterhole, leaving the animals in dire need, unable to find water elsewhere. Patrick knew that the animals might die due to the absence of water and was worried that nobody was going to do anything about it. Everyone else was busy finding water for themselves. When the drought intensified, Patrick decided to do something about it and bring water to the animals. Getting water during a drought is a tough task. People have to pay to have access to water. Patrick knew the sacrifice it required, but he didn't mind. He started by hiring a water bowser, which cost him 22,000 Kenyan shillings, about $183, and drove it from Boy to Sabo, about 44 miles or 70 kilometers away. While Patrick was filling the waterhole, the animals watched from afar, unsure of what was happening. Immediately after he filled it up, the animals rushed to the waterhole. Although they couldn't speak, the look on their faces said more than enough, and Patrick could see the gratitude in their eyes. Pleased with the reaction he got from the animals, Patrick continued going with the water bowser each day to fill the waterhole. He and the animals developed a non-verbal, seamless routine. They watched him from afar while he filled the hole, then hurriedly went to drink when he was done. As the days went by, it became obvious that a single trip with the water bowser was simply not enough, and he couldn't afford more than one trip. So he decided to share his story and his relationship with the animals on social media platforms and guess what? The internet worked its magic. Patrick received so many positive responses and soon he was making two to three trips a day. His passion for wildlife conservation attracted some American women and they immediately set up a GoFundMe account. People knew that the cause was not only noble but necessary because wildlife conservation is important for creating balance in the world. After a few months, their $150,000 target was soon met, but the assistance didn't stop there. As the donations kept rolling in, Patrick did even more to ensure that the animals never lacked water. The most beautiful result of Patrick's kindness was the animals' reaction. At first, they watched him from afar and only moved closer to the water hole after he had filled it. But after getting familiar with the routine and after Patrick had earned their trust, they waited by the waterhole in anticipation once they realized the truck was close by. One day, something incredible happened. When Patrick went to the park to fill up the waterhole, he saw the animal standing really close to the waterhole waiting for him. As he turned on the faucet, some moved closer to drink directly from it because they couldn't wait for the waterhole to fill up. They weren't threatened by his presence, and they trusted him not to harm them, so they didn't harm him either they knew he had been helping them all along. Isn't this amazing? The animals and Patrick didn't share any common language, but there's one language Patrick's wild friends understood clearly, kindness, and they were grateful for his wonderful gesture. An interaction this beautiful between humans and animals is truly remarkable. Animals mostly get defensive as they feel threatened by human presence. Soon, Patrick became an internet sensation, and that's how he earned his moniker, The Waterman. Many consider him a hero, but the kind farmer states that he's just doing his part to make a difference. When asked what motivated him, 
Patrick recalled the devastating effects of human negligence during a drought a few years ago when many animals perished because people didn't consider their needs. Determined not to let history repeat itself, he took action after witnessing the suffering of buffaloes, zebras, and elephants desperately searching for water during his visit to the park in June. While climate change is a well-known consequence of human activity, it's the animals who bear the brunt of these changes, often suffering more because they lack the means to protect themselves. Kenya's wildlife, a major attraction for tourists and a significant source of the country's income, faces constant threats from poachers and natural disasters. The beauty of these animals comes at a high cost, one that requires constant effort and vigilance to preserve. Patrick's mission highlights the urgent need to protect and conserve the wildlife we cherish. His story is a reminder that the natural world depends on our actions, and it's our responsibility to safeguard the creatures that enrich our planet. The watermen knew they were suffering the consequences of human actions, so he took it upon himself to correct the wrong by providing them with a necessity. The pea farmer from Void has not stopped helping animals. He keeps launching project after project to ensure their comfort. A few of his successful projects include buying trucks to transport water, building dams, creating additional water holes, and installing solar-powered pumps so that water can be delivered to animals over long distances. If animals could speak, they would definitely express their gratitude. Another project he was working on as of 2020 was to promote peaceful cohabitation between humans and animals. He explained in detail what the project was about. He said, you see, we live close to the park, and there are many ranches in the surrounding area that have lots of wildlife like elephants and buffaloes. So when people plant their crops, especially maize, we have a lot of animals coming to our villages and they destroy the farms. Elephants like maize, so there's a lot of conflict between people and wildlife. He did some research and found that elephants didn't eat sunflowers, so he started planting them, and although elephants would come to his farm, they never ate any of the plants. Therefore, he came up with a solution to avoid conflicts between elephants and humans. I like sunflowers because when you harvest them, you can press the seeds to make oil, which can be sold or used for cooking. The residue from the pressing can even be given to chickens and livestock as feed. At the same time, sunflowers can help attract bees. I'm trying to create beehives in our community so that bees can help our vegetation. So the sunflowers help preserve the bees, and the bees help preserve the elephants by making them stay away from the farms, as elephants are afraid of the insects buzzing. So we're saving elephants and bees, and helping people as well," Patrick explained. Building on the success of the GoFundMe campaign initiated by supporters in America, Patrick chose to leverage his newfound online recognition for an even greater cause. He launched another fundraising effort, called the Mwalu Wildlife Trust, to further support his mission of helping the animals. This campaign attracted donations from around the world, including from India, where he received two machines capable of extracting water from the atmosphere. Thanks to these contributions, the animals in Sava West National Park no longer need to fear dying of thirst. Patrick has undeniably made a significant impact by doing something as simple as providing water to animals in need. May his story inspire you to extend kindness to the people and animals in your life as well. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video, take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.